two ways to help improve your heart health. If you suffer from cold hands and feet or rain nods, which when you go outside, you have the tips of your fingers get really cold, even really white, or maybe you suffer from high blood pressure and you just can't get those numbers down even when you're on medication, check out my top two tips for helping to improve heart health. Hi, I'm Dr. Ellie Heinze from Starting Point Acupuncture. And in my practice, I help people with chronic and complex conditions really gain optimal health. And one of the things that I talk about with my patients all the time is using food as medicine and also about the benefits of acupuncture. And in today's video, one of those benefits of acupuncture that may not be well known is its ability to help improve heart health and to improve circulation. So my first tip on improving your heart health is to use food as medicine. And a part of traditional Chinese medicine, we have a lot of different tools in our toolbox. One of them is acupuncture, another is Chinese herbs, but you also have using food as medicine. And so we look at foods a little bit differently because we look at their properties and what they have. And if you eat the right combination of foods that have specific properties, you could actually help certain things in your body. So in regard to heart health, we're looking for things that can really help reduce inflammation, help clear heat, help improve circulation. And those properties that you'd be looking for in food are things that have bitter or bitter flavors and also things that are pungent. So to go back to bitter, um, the best example that people think of is coffee and coffee is great. Like I said with everything, everything in moderation is key, but coffee is very beneficial in many different ways. It's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, but it also can help with vasodilation and helping with blood circulation. But it also has that bitter quality that is really beneficial for heart health. So coffee is definitely one of those foods that I would, or not foods, but drinks that I would recommend in regards to foods that have the bitter flavors. It's in your dark leafy greens, so like romaine lettuce, arugula, those would be some key things that have that bitterness in there. Things that are pungent, just to contrast, are things like radishes, green onions, white pepper, even like citrus peel, those are very pungent in their flavors. So like having an arugula salad with some green onions can be something that encompasses both of those properties. Another food that has those bitter flavors, something that's probably more well known is dandelion and dandelion root. Um, the leaves of dandelion can be used in salads and also as a tea. Most commonly, if you go to the store, it's dandelion root tea that will be there. Um, it's very good for your liver for detoxing, but it's also really good for circulation and to provide some of that bitterness in there. Um, so if someone who actually doesn't like coffee or wants to limit caffeine, a good alternative that would still give you those bitter flavors is having a dandelion root tea. It has sometimes the same smell, even taste as coffee does. So just another alternative um, for coffee. So going back to some of those properties, um, bitter foods are very yin in nature, meaning that they are very cooling. So they have the properties to help clear heat in the body and heat can be translated as inflammation. So when you eat more bitter foods, it can actually help to provide some anti-inflammatory properties. And pungent foods have abilities to help um, decrease phlegm or excess fluid in the body. And that can be translated as helping to move fluids, increase circulation. So that can also help with its ability to help regulate blood pressure. So when you add in bitter plus pungent foods, it can do a lot to help to support heart health and to regulate your blood pressure. My second tip for helping to improve heart health is acupuncture. So today I'm gonna to go a little bit more detail in exactly how acupuncture works 
because it's pretty fascinating exactly how acupuncture can help increase circulation. So as we know, we have blood that flows throughout our whole body and blood brings the nutrients, oxygen, hormones to different areas in the body. And so having proper circulation is key for the health of your organs, for the health of your um, movement in your hands and your feet. It's just vital for a whole being. So making sure that you're having proper circulation is just key for your overall health, including your heart health. So in regards to acupuncture, acupuncture has been shown to help increase circulation because of its ability to produce more nitric oxide in the body. And nitric oxide is a key regulator to help with localized circulation. Therefore, the more nitric oxide you have, the more blood flow and circulation you have to your tissues. And acupuncture treatments have also been found to stimulate more leukotrienes and, and histamines in the body. And so when those are released, it helps the blood vessels and tissues to expand so more fluid and blood flow can get to the area. And it can also help when there's swelling. And so having more nitric oxide, more antihistamines can really help movement of fluid, helping to increase swelling like with edema and just get more blood flow to your tissues so they can have all the nutrients that they need. So having poor circulation can really affect your quality of life just because you're not, maybe not feeling your best, you're not getting blood flow to your hands, it may prevent you from doing certain activities just because it can actually be quite painful even having like numbness and tingling. So having these two things, proper nutrition and getting regular acupuncture can really help increasing blood flow so all your tissues are functioning normally and will help to increase your quality of life and heart health. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can be first to know when our weekly videos pop up. And again, thank you for joining me today to learn more about my top two ways on how we can help with heart health.